Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of GeoGuessr. Um, I had a kind of a fun time, I did a live stream yesterday evening and yeah, I got some challenges sent to me, it was kind of, kind of fun actually. Uh, so I want to record some more here. Uh, so let's see, this one says something that I can't really read, it's kind of a cute little milestone there on the ground actually. It's kind of cute as I said I don't think we are in the oh come on yeah there we go steady <laughs> I don't think we are in the USA obviously since there's basically you know no yellow lines in the middle of the road and yeah it kind of doesn't feel like USA in general either and we are obviously driving on the right side of the road so I would say that we are either in I don't think South America but probably Europe somewhere yeah makes sense uh, let's see Till Salulu, maybe something like that. Till, that's very Swedish at least. Um, so maybe we are in Scandinavia somewhere. Who knows? Yeah, we'll probably find out if we make sure to, you know, look closely for clues, basically. <laughs> uh, hold on a minute. Is that is there a flag on that pole? Maybe. If it is, it's blue and white, and that's Finland's colors. So. Maybe we are in Finland actually. Uh, might be a possibility, but I don't know. I mean, it's kind of a shame that there's no wind, really. Is that, or is it red or white? I don't know. It's some weird color, I can't really see it. Um, yeah, but I guess. I don't guess anything, I don't know, basically. Um, <laughs> could just as well be in, you know. I don't know where we can be actually feels really really weird um, it's a little bit too you know open to feel like Sweden basically but yeah I guess we'll find out hopefully we'll find some kind of a sign or an actual flag post with some wind in it is it is that the one it is but I can't uh, I can't <laughs> see the colors basically that's kind of crap um, but yeah oh, that's a Volvo Hmm, a red old Volvo? Yeah, we must be in Sweden! No, I don't know. Uh, hopefully, oh, this might actually help us now. Come on, let me read something here. Let me read! Nope, okay. No reading! Sorry. Red houses though. Might be Sweden. <laughs> might be Scandinavia at least. Um, okay, we're moving on I guess. Since we're not allowed to read what's on the signs and especially since there's no real signs around here some nice big machines as well you gotta love big machines yeah especially when you pronounce it machines that's you know so much more elegant compared to machines yeah uh, okay these are not Swedish road signs at least so we're not in Sweden I'm sorry oh come on let me read let me read something Voldby Shit, that sounds dangerous. Bold, yeah. Um, I would guess, you know, we're probably in Scandinavia, maybe Denmark somewhere. Denmark might actually be, oops, a good guess here. Um, Voldby, I mean, B means village in Scandinavian languages. So, okay, it's a clearly a Danish flag. Oh, ikke rute. Yeah, that's uh, Danish people. You gotta love their language. It's so. I mean, you can read it properly, but when it comes to, you know, <laughs> basically, yeah, listening to them, it's like, what the fuck did he just say? Sounds like some really, really bad, let's see, Danemarks? Do you spell Denmark with A-I in Danish? That's kind of weird. Uh, okay, um, but yeah, as I said... Um, when it comes to Denmark, uh, you can read what they write, but you can never hear what they say, basically. Okay, Volby. Yeah, so we're obviously in some Danish city or society right now. Let's see. Oh, come on. Did it say Silkeborg and Skanderborg and Viborg? Okay, those are actually kind of big cities. At least Viborg and Silkeborg I've heard about. Um, and then I just need to find it. That's kind of a, you know, something that you need to do as well. There's Viborg, yeah. And there's Silkeborg. Silkeborg to the right. Let's see, we are now, we're actually traveling straight east. 
So if we continue east, we come to Viborg, it says, road 26. And if we take right, I don't know, this is weird, but let's put it here. Yeah, make the guess. There we go. That was actually kind of close, actually. That's, that's good. I'm pleased. Yes, indeed. I mean, it's not too hard to guess when it comes to Denmark based because that counter is so goddamn small. So, yeah. American flag, we are in the USA. No more Danish pigs for us. No. Um, I'm just kidding, though. But there is a lot of pigs in Denmark. You gotta know that, even though... I mean, if you're Danish and you don't like the fact that people are poking fun of you, you still gotta know that there is a lot of pigs in Denmark, yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see, one way, Mullen, for the US Congress, yes, you want to vote for Mullen, I mean, basically he ain't telling you anything about what he thinks, it's just like, Mullen, vote for me, yeah, six hotel, um, something of courage, Thayer, uh huh, speed limit 35, I mean, it's always clear, already clear that we are in the United States somewhere, just need to find out where in the States, yeah, <laughs> uh, so let's see if we can get any clues. Basically, often, you know, they like to, to write which state you're in some of the times. Three months, no payments! Your auto loan? That sounds really, really fishy. I wouldn't get that loan if it's, you know, if, if they try to uh, convince you that it's free, then I wouldn't do it, basically. Especially not when it comes to loans. Silly, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of ins here. Okay, must go see. Sweet. Let's see on this one. Little Debbie, America's number one snack cake. Oh, is there? Seems to be some sort of an address on that truck. Can I read it? I cannot. That's a shame. Maybe from this angle. Can I? Oh, nothing. No. Okay. Let's move on. Uh, <laughs> I like how her face is blurred out, even though it's just a, you know, a brown, basically. Uh, so, let's see. Ernie's Pharmacy Wellness Center, uh-huh. Chinese restaurant, okay. Sweet donuts! Donuts! Perfect. Gotta love the donuts, yeah. Uh, Joros, come see us at 101 West Shawnee. Get 10 off. Shawnee! The Shawnee Indians. I don't know where they were in the States. Uh, I think they are to the east though. Let's see. Three Rivers Museum, Five Civilized Tribe Museum. So obviously somewhere where there's a lot of Indians. It doesn't feel too warm. So I would guess that we're somewhere along the east coast basically. Uh, Taco Mayo. Oh, nice. Sweet. I still need to figure out where we are though. I mean... USA is a big goddamn country, you know? Let's continue straight ahead here. Sure. Yeah. Uh, oh, come on. Okay, we're leaving this city. That's okay, though. It's all, all, all right, you know? Yeah. It's not too much of a problem, basically. Hopefully, we can find something nice on a road sign that will tell us something. Amish! What the hell? Are you serious? Amish restaurant and fudge factory and bakery <laughs> Shit, that's a restaurant. I want to go to Amish restaurant fudge factory fried pies. I mean, I'm not Amish But I, I do know that they don't really like you know new things basically hence the you know horse and wagon uh, Why are you making commercial for? A restaurant okay they gotta have some business as well I guess but still Amish sure <laughs> silly but yeah um it's getting kind of slowly for me though let's see road 62 but I mean those okay sure I mean one of these days that's I'll probably go to that Amish restaurant someday would be kind of fun yeah um, let's take the guess. I, I can't be bothered basically. I think the Amish, are they big around here somewhere? Kentucky, Ohio, something like that? Let's put it in West Virginia, I guess. Not so close. Okay, we were in Oklahoma. Are there many Amish in Oklahoma? I don't know. You can tell me if you want to, yeah? Uh, okay, let's move on. Let's speed up a little bit, I guess. 
let's take a look at this road sign okay sweet uh, once again are we in the states again oh come on no we mechanic marine we're obviously not in the states Repar repara reparations I don't know uh, it doesn't feel too American though maybe we can figure out something where we are basically by you know just following a goddamn long road as usual yeah that'll help us out hyper Chateau Giron. Okay, we're in France. Uh, and there's boats. So we must be along the coast somewhere. I guess at least. Charpente ou something latre. Filatre. Okay. Um, Maison. Is, is that a city in France? Maison? Maybe it is. I guess we can look. Um. <clears throat> Let's take a you know quick sweep along the coastline here. Maybe not. Maybe not. We might even be in in you know Belgium or something like that because they they tend to speak you know French there as well. At least in the southern ports. Uh, okay. <clears throat> yeah. Give me a road sign, please. I mean it's kind of shitty. Oh, there's a nice roundabout sign. Nouveau. Uh, Something do move. Okay, let's move back a step. I want to. There we go. Dom loop, Chateau Algeron. Okay, yeah. Chateau Algeron. I don't know. France. I mean, France really turns me off somehow. It's like, oh, god damn it. Seriously, France. You no, know, I. I don't like France. Basically, um, not. I mean, I like like French people, but France as country is like oh, everyone says. You know, it's so beautiful, it's so romantic. It's like no, it, it doesn't feel too romantic to be honest. I mean, I shouldn't say anything because Sweden isn't really romantic either. But still, Dumloop. Okay, I guess we're in Dumloop. Where can we find Dumloop? I don't know. Um, it feels a little bit more northern though. Let's let's put it here. Bam, close to Normandy. And that stuff. Oh, look at that one. We were actually in Britain, Le Britain, or whatever you say. This is actually an old country called Britain in Europa Universalis. Uh, okay, sure. I mean, we were close to Rennes. So that's good. Play next round. Sweet. Okay, two rounds left. Um, nice nature. Might actually be Scandinavia. We'll have to see. Hello, little. Moped driver? Muppet driver? Muppet driver, yeah. Are you a Muppet? Seems so. Don't... Oh my god. Oh, there's the sign, okay. <laughs> I thought he had no, you know, sign on his... His motorbike, or whatever you call it. Um, yeah, but okay. Uh, let's guess where we are. This feels kind of Russian, actually. Grothandel! Sounds very Dutch. Um... But I mean, there might be, you know, Dutch trucks and everything in different countries as well. But as I said, I mean, it feels kind of, you know, Eastern European maybe. Not too many pine trees, so we are not very far north. At least not in Scandinavia. And yeah, we're in Russia. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> and as I said, the, the road seems a little bit, you know, not too good either. So yeah, obviously, P. Nix. Okay. Phoenix, no, um, I can't really, I know that the, I mean, this looks like Nix, but it's most likely pronounced in, in some other way, yeah, um, but okay, we're in Russia, Russia is a hard country, it's really, really big, Hobropoa, something, Nifix, yeah, Nifix, let's call it Nifix, even though it's obviously wrong, Where's Nipix? I would basically guess that we are somewhere here. I guess. Because as I said, it feels, you know, quite European still. Um, there's, you know, some... A lot of what called grass and, and vegetation in general, but no pine trees. So we are obviously not close to Scandinavia at least. Um, but once again, Russia is a huge country. We can be basically anywhere in Russia. Look at this, some Orthodox churches. That's actually kind of nice. Yeah, so first we had the Amish and now the Orthodox churches. 
kind of sweet actually. I mean, I like the orthodox style basically, even though this one looks kind of abandoned, to be honest. Are we even going to churches anymore in Russia? It doesn't look so. <laughs> I mean, it looks nice though, yeah, I gotta say. Um, but I would prefer the Amish because, I mean, seriously, not being able to even use a car or a phone or anything like that. I actually watched a documentary series about the Amish and it was kind of enjoyable actually. They, they kind of found out about, about ways to actually get around the uh, rules. It's like, you can have no phones in your house. Well, let's build a little shed next to the house that we can have the phone in instead then. So that's basically how they got around the rules. Um, okay, let's let's put it there. Make the guess. Make the guess, I said. Okay, we were further west, but still not close to Scandinavia. So that's okay, sure. And as I said, Russia, hard, hard, really hard. I don't know how to basically... I mean, first of all, I can't even read their alphabet. And secondly, Russian geography, seriously. Do I have to learn cities all over Russia? I guess I have to if I want to get really really good at all the maps in this game. Yeah. Um last map now. Okay. Uh, we might even be in Russia again. I guess we'll have no. Okay, we might actually be in the United States if we look at the mustard in the middle of the road. Yeah. So let's take a look. Oh, a nice little sign here. Bruce Peninsula. Historical Plaque. Sweet. And that's to the north, basically, if we want to go to the peninsula. Can we go to the peninsula? I want to go to the peninsula. Yeah, we can go to the peninsula. Sweet. Oh. I don't know where I ended up now, but sure, let's move on. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's see. We are obviously in the States, though. Hidden driveway. Okay. I, I don't know how smart it is to actually hide it, but sure. First you hide it and then you tell everyone about it. That makes perfect sense. Cottages? Sweet. Want to look at the cottages? No. Let's move on. Let's move on. Yeah. Let's see. Astronomy Kids Camp. Sounds nice. Um, Fox DRS Admission. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. I want to see if I can actually see some state name on the road signs. It doesn't look like it though, but yeah, okay. Um, uh, annoying when you don't know where you are, basically. I want to <laughs> I want to be able to figure it out, okay? Yeah. Uh, but a lot of cars in a single yard. This is obviously America. Six cars or something like that. I mean, in Sweden it's like, you have two cars? Damn, that's a lot. Yeah. Oh, let's look at that flag, basically. Is that... Oh, it's a Canadian flag. I was completely wrong. Obviously, Ca Canada and USA, they're... Yeah, maybe the same. <laughs> so, the question is, though, Canada, are we to the west or to the east? So, yeah, I mean, Canadians, you're obviously the same as the Americans, almost. Uh, seriously, not to be that kind of guy, but, I mean, you're, you're kind of similar. Yeah when it comes to most things. Um, don't, don't you dare contradict me. Yeah, I don't mean to say that I'm wrong because... Contracting, okay. Because I am not wrong. Uh, Davis Contracting, yes. There's a peninsula. I don't know where that is. Let's see. Sobel River. Trillium Woods. Sobel. I don't know where that is. Maybe we're in New Brunswick or something like that. I would basically... Okay, I can't really read that one, that's too bad. Yeah, but I mean, it's time to, to finish off this episode. It's time to make, I guess, too good for us that we found the Canadian flag. So we know that we're in the right country at least. And this feels a little bit more Eastern Canada than Western Canada. I don't know why, but it feels like it. Yeah, I mean, ob often when I, you know, follow my intuition, I'm more right than wrong. I mean, I can of course be wrong as well, but no exit. Damn it. How do I enter then? I don't know. Oh, look at this. The fishing olifant, the fishing islands. Sweet. <laughs> I guess. Olifant. Is, where's olifant? 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 Yeah. We are obviously close to the 
stays there. Let's put it here. Bam. Make the guess. Okay, okay. We were obviously... I didn't think of that. I, I thought, you know, coastal fishing, you know, all that base and all that stuff. Um, but sure, we were close to the big lakes. That's that's good enough, I guess. Yeah. Uh, still, 17,000 points. That's good enough, actually. Denmark, fair enough. Uh, but, you know, you had nothing against the... Oh, the Amish. Kind of fun, actually. And the, uh, you know, the Orthodox Church. That's kind of good looking as well, but yeah. Um, it wasn't the best of rounds, but it was an okay round, at least, I feel. Yeah. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you want to, and hopefully I'll see you all around the next time. So till then, have a great time, and goodbye.